Hello everyone, you join me at a very low point, you join the Republic of Rome under this uh, DI Divide et Impera mod at a very low point. Our legions have expended themselves in taking Taurus, but the counter-attack has driven us from the city, shattered our legions. Our remaining forces, struck with plague, have returned to a capital under siege. All in all, everything looks <laughs> very, very bleak. We'll wait to see what our enemies do. Um, but the siege is strangling our income. And so um, we're going to need to do something about that. Um, it would be better if they attacked me so that at least I could have the, the towers and the walls um, to assist me. But I don't think they will. Um, I can obviously see that more more enemies are joining the fray. Um, so, um, well, let's go for reduced cost. Yeah, the population is is unhappy, uh, as am I. Okay, so we've raised some That's more more forces. Uh, not enough, probably, but. Um, we must try and break the siege five turns until the garrison surrenders. Um, Commander. Let's see whether we can um, Are you ready to serve Rome? at least increase our, our ranks a little bit. So we can get a... Um, can get effectively to a full stack army, but uh, many of these units are very depleted. Still, it gives it gives us a chance to relieve um, the capital siege. I suspect we'll lose Arinium, which is disappointing, seeing as we had just um, constructed a ship right there, and that was going to be the start of our uh, our navy. But yeah, we've got a full full stack war band coming south now. The Venti are at war with um, their neighbours, so it's really my, my only hope is that um, some other force intervenes on, on, on my behalf right now. Um, our priority has to be to relieve the, the siege on the capital. Um, your command. Yeah, let's, um, let's see how we get on. Very, very bad luck, I think, to have um, suffered um, plague as well. Um, okay, so we've got a much superior enemy army trying to take our uh, our town of Beneventum. Let's um, let's see if there's anything we can do. might be able to inflict some casualties on them and at least um, at least stop their army from coming north to Rome just having a biscuit as um, the battle loads um. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how we're going to um, blunt the enemy's attack. Um, so we've got Italian Town Guard. These are going to be very poor. Um, heavy melee infantry with Italian swordsmen. We do have some slingers and, of course, some, some citizens. Um, while the enemy, Eprius, have these... Um, Elite pike units. Mm. Things look desperate. So, um, we'll try and hold the central plaza. Um, perhaps if we perhaps if we deploy here.
we might be able to create an outflanking situation where we can um, cause casualties. Romans ready for duty. The citizens are likely to break <laughs> very Spears! swiftly. Uh, let's leave some Spearman at the ready. Some of these uh, town guard in reserve, but they're they're no better than policemen, really. Spear infantry, ready and at your command. commander, ready. Uh, let's swap these units around so that the general Italian swordsman is in the middle obviously it's not a he's not a named uh, character so I don't think he'll do a huge amount but uh, okay let's um the eyes of the Senate and all Rome are upon us today. he's uh, giving a speech to try and uh, bolster morale but um, I think the best speech in the world isn't going to be enough to uh, withstand this onslaught. Mm, the enemy may come this way, um, but I don't have the strength to, to guard all of the, um, the possible avenues in with um, with anything like sufficient forces, so we've concentrated on one possible route. I think we can hold up the enemy cavalry. Spears! Defensive uh, guard mode. Not quite so these. Italian swordsmen! Peeler uh, doing some damage against these uh, these infantry. Look like uh, sort of peltast type troops, sort of heavy heavy skirmishers. Our own men receiving uh, receiving uh, missile fire and oh, this massive body of. There is little that we can uh, we can do. They have at least split their attacking forces. The slingers are trying to do some some damage. Suffering badly. Let's uh, see if we can swarm. Keep them off guard mode. Press on, press on, don't allow them to break away from you. Of course this is largely a, an angry mob, so... Uh, it 
there's not much we can expect from them. Uh, these blocks of pike units forcing back these Italian swordsmen. Approximately causing friendly casualties with our um, slings, but we've just got to throw everything at it that we, uh, that we can. Fighting in the in the marketplace. We are at least getting into the flanks of this uh, this phalanx, but um, the individual hoplites will um, will be far more skillful than these Italian swordsmen. So we've broken one unit, but the enemy have uh, more than enough reserves to, to deal with that. I can't see us uh, breaking these troops. Yeah, pl plenty more. Enjoyed a, a, a brief success. At speed. Let's, uh, Let's send the townspeople in just to, uh, to try and buy us some time. Concentrate on our slings on this phalanx, which is uh, causing us huge difficulties. our enemies some some casualties but it's it's not gonna be enough. Reserves on all three of these fronts to succeed, and a success in either, in ever, in any three of the areas would be disastrous for us. And the enemy are about to break through here in the middle, which will allow them to um, hit these units from both sides, and indeed our are, are men are breaking across the across the battlefield. They they know that they can't withstand this assault. Our, uh, our only hope really is that um, the enemy will have suffered some attrition and uh, that will slow their advance to Rome. Slingers are uh, Continuing to be a nuisance, but our uh, Italian swordsmen now have broken. We are able to get some uh, some kills at least with this unit, focusing on uh, wiping out our town guard.
but now the enemy cavalry are in our rear and uh, there's little that can be done so for every man to flee for himself The enemy's uh, triumph is complete. Um, we lost considerably more men, um, and um, yes, close to, to close to 800 kills out of 3,600. We've you know we've scratched the paintwork basically. Certainly not enough to stop them from moving on to um, to also attack Rome, which. Uh, only increases the pressure on our remaining forces, um, newly newly raised uh, outside the, the capital in a desperate bid to, to break the siege. They they simply sack the town though by the look of it and move move back um, so we may we may not have another enemy at our back at least in the fight against the besiegers of Rome uh, well this battle is even more one-sided against us so I'm going to um, I'm going to auto resolve this one as um, as much as I hate doing that. Yeah. Okay. Um, again, they don't take the town. They're happy to to rape and pillage, um, steal the valuables, and move on. Two settlements sacked in one turn continue to suffer attrition, though I believe uh, the plague has now finally killed all those it was going to. And um, we've got no choice but to, to try and break the siege. So our enemy do pull back, um, allowing vital supplies to um, to reach the capital, but with um, settlements sacked, the the people of Rome are are rioting, unsurprisingly so. Commander. So, what does our enemy army look like? So, Italic swordsmen, Italic cavalry, mercenaries, slingers, cavalry. We um, hunger for battle. Whilst our own, own forces are uh, substantially depleted, um, they're going to take quite a while to um, to recover. Um, at your command. Looking at technology, I feel <laughs> that we um, we should perhaps now go down the military route and uh, maybe maybe trying to improve the. Morale of our embattled legionaries is the way to go. We hunger for battle. If we did attack this army, we would have the benefit of the the garrison, March. Um, and maybe moving removing one of our enemies from the from the immediate vicinity of Rome would allow us to uh, to have some breathing space. Um, the risk of course is that we suffer yet another Pyrrhic victory and uh, simply make make way from either of our other enemies to attack the capital but um, we are we are cornered at the moment we need to do something um, taking the offensive may not be wise particularly given the low the low quality 
of um, the garrison, but um, very desperate times call for very desperate measures. And uh, the the Roman army needs uh, needs some some victory. Battlefield looks fairly uh, fairly simple, uh, which will suit which will suit the enemy's cavalry potentially. Um, so we're going to need to keep reserves, um, although we do we do have the numbers to do so. So we will place our missile units in the front, then Hastati in the front line, followed by the Principe, and then. Um, uh, allied principles and spares as well in the rear rank the triarii forming <laughs> a very ragtag uh, triple axes formation the rorii we will um, we will have them support the hastati What we will do is we'll um, group both Spears! armies first. These uh, these Italian citizens, I think, I'm just simply going to withdraw them from the battle. They're um, they're going to be more of a more of a more of a liberty than anything. get out of the way of the more trained soldiers. Italian cavalry. So, what should we do with the, um, the reinforcements? I think we will add the, um, the Italian swordsmen to our first line. The town guard can uh, then fall in behind, not because they are uh, worthy of the rank of principal, of course, but simply to um, simply to get them out of the um, the initial front line in the hope that um, having them as reserve. Them coming in as, as fresh troops can um, can increase their impact. So we do have another cavalry unit, um, which could um, could be uh, particularly helpful. So let's um, let's fast forward the battle, and then once we've merged both the armies, we'll advance, and presumably our enemy is over here somewhere. Um, the balance of power bar is in our, is in our favour, but um, the issue we've we've really got is that we need to keep the um, casualties to the minimum because uh, <laughs> this is going to be one of uh, of many frantic uh, battles around Rome herself to try and. Uh, Try and prevent her from falling. Yeah, so we're al almost in formation now. <laughs> 